Six months ago, I burned through $400 in API cost in a single day. I was just testing GraphRag on 50,000 documents. The answers were incredible. But when I checked my OpenAI dashboard, I saw 610,000 tokens per query. Then I found something that does the same job with 6,000 times less. And today, I'm breaking down both. And for those who don't know me, my name is Homayun and I open this channel to keep you updated with recent technology and show you how to implement them efficiently. Your likes and subscribe is a big motivation for me to continue this path. Thank you in advance for doing that and let's begin. Here's what I'm covering today. First, the problem, why traditional rag falls short. Then I will break down both system, graph and light rag, and how they actually work under the hood. I will compare the performance and costs with real numbers. And finally, I will give you a clear framework for when to use which. As you know, traditional rag treats your document as isolated chunks. You chop them up, vectorize them, and store them in the database. And when someone asks a question, you find similar chunks and fit them to the LLM. Simple, but here's the issue. Look at this query. How do the CEO's other ventures relate to sustainable energy initiatives? Traditional RAG finds junk about energy, about CEO, but it has no idea how these two are related together. The relationships are invisible and therefore the context is lost. That's where GraphRag comes in. GraphRag came from Microsoft Research in April 2024. The core idea was simple, building a knowledge graph from your documents detecting the communities of related entities, and then finally, generate hierarchical summaries. Key features of GraphRag were light and community detection, hierarchical summarization, and two search modes, including local and global. Now that you know what is GraphRag, let me show you how the pipeline works. Five steps. Step one, similar to the traditional RAG, chunk your documents. Step two, extracting entities and relationship from your chunks, which here you can use an LLM or do it manually if you have enough time. Step three, the Leiden algorithms cluster related entities into communities. Step four, generate summary reports for each community. And finally, step five, query using global or local search. So there are two ways to query your graph rack. Global search is for big picture questions. For example, what are the main themes in this dataset? It searches across all community summaries, does a map reduce, and synthesizes a global answer. On the other hand, local search is for specific questions. For example, what are the Scrooge's main relationships? It finds the entity, fans out the neighbors, and uses the local context. It's powerful and cool stuff, but there's a cost. October 2024. Researchers from Hong Kong University release LightRag. Their question was this. What if we got most of the benefit at a fraction of the cost? Their approach is really interesting. Combining knowledge graph with vector retrieval with dual level keys. So keeping the expensive community clustering entirely and here are the key features of the light rack. Dual level retrieval, vector based search, incremental updates, and here's the big one 6,000 times fewer tokens per query. Light rack has four steps, simpler than graph rack. Step one extract entities and relationships. Well, here again, we have LLM per chunks, same as the graph rack. Step 2. Generate dual-level key-value pairs. LLM creates both a specific and thematic keys. Step 3. Retrieve using vector search. And step 4. Generate the final response using the LLM. Just here's a quick note in the bottom, you see that? The indexing still requires LLM calls, same as the graph rack. That 6,000 times saving per token is in the query phase, not in the indexing phase. Now that you know how LightRag works, let's talk about the secret weapon of LightRag, dual level retrieval. Imagine you ask, how is Tesla fighting climate change? 
low level retrieval extract exactly what you mentioned tesla climate change and the direct relationship between them one hop way and precise but that's not enough context right so high level retrieval expands outward it finds for example elon musk's other ventures the battery supply chain the solar energy initiatives everything you didn't mention in your query explicitly but it's necessary for a complete answer and it's interesting to know that both searches run in parallel now let's be honest about the cost both systems need llm calls for indexing extracting entities generating summaries or keys you still need the llm call but look at the query phase Graphrag 610,000 tokens and hundreds of API calls, while Lightrag 100 tokens and a single API call. This is where the savings compound. Every user query, every single day. Now let's compare the performance. Indexing LLM costs, the seed is high for both of them. Query token is where Lightrag wins. In terms of the incremental update, in Lightrag you just need to append, however in Graphrag you need to build everything. But look at this, relational depths, community inside, global queries, Graphrag take those. Different strengths, not better or worse. Look at this, this is a token difference between Graphrag and Lightrag. At the scale, this is the difference between a sustainable product and bankruptcy. Let's dive into the pros and cons. Graphrag has deep relational understanding, hierarchical summaries, and excellent for global queries. However, it has high operational cost, slow indexing, expensive updates, and you need to rebuild everything. It has a complex infrastructure. Lightrag has 90% of the cost reduction, 30% faster queries, easy incremental updates and simple architecture however lightrag has its own limitation it's a newer technology and like any other new technology it has fewer resources and third-party integration and also unlike graphrag it's not able to detect the community and sometimes it miss the complex multi-hop relationships However, is a practical solution and the practical trade-offs. When to choose Graphrag or Lightrag? You choose Graphrag when your budget is flexible, your data is static and you need global thematic queries. You choose Lightrag when cost matters. For example, if you are building an MVP or you are just in a startup and your budget is limited. Your data changes frequently and you need to update your data frequently. Also, you need a fast response. These are the moments that you should go with the light rack rather than graph rack. Here is the decision matrix and summary. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful for you, hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment also for me, tell me that which one you're going to try. Take care guys and see you in the next video.